everyone, Bruno from RVing TV. And we're taking a look at some small lightweight trailers. You've seen some of our other videos on some of the Bushwhacker products. We've been looking at some A-liners. We did a previous video on the Scout and the Classic. And today we're taking a look at a Ranger 10 and Ranger 12 model for something a little bit different. Let's start with a Ranger 10, smaller box. We're about a 10 foot, uh, yeah, we're about a 10 foot, eight to 10 foot box here. And sorry, I had a little brain freeze there for a moment. Smaller, lighter weight, one of the smallest of the pack. What's nice with this, it has a very unique style look. So if you're in the market for a small lightweight unit, you have a small tow vehicle, and you're just trying to keep the weight down, or even if you have a big pickup truck, but you wanna do some overlanding, you wanna get out off the beaten path, you wanna maximize your fuel economy, and you're really just looking for a place to chill because you're spending time in the outdoors, a Ranger 10 might be a great solution for you. Let's take a little closer look. The Ranger 10's gonna weigh in at about 1,462 pounds and has 174 pounds of tongue weight. This can be pulled by a lot of small SUVs that have 2,000 pounds of towing or 1,800 pounds of towing. We've got four stabilizer jacks so you don't feel that trailer moving around. We've got this little black box which I'm gonna leave. There's a little special treat when we get inside. Single axle to keep it very lightweight. Aluminum rim which is a nice touch little bit of outside storage here big big window and i'm going to show you here you can see you can't even see inside and it's a pretty bright day we cannot see inside we've got a lot of privacy there's our water hookup and even a water tank to hold some potable water nice deep tinted window right you can see how it reflects and we have a water heater and an outside shower on this. Now there's our Zamp Solar Power plug-in. All these A-liners come with the Zamp Power plug-in. So if you get a compatible solar panel, you can plug it in and charge up your batteries. We've got a tray up front that you could put two batteries on as well. But let's take a look inside at what kind of living we'll get out of this Ranger 10. We've got a seating area up front. And you'll notice from the way that it came out outside, it lifts up so you have that headroom. There's even a zipper to zipper out and open it up a little bit. We have two burners for cooking, which is a nice touch because some of the A-liners we looked at earlier didn't have the burners inside. We have that sink. We've got a furnace on board and that little black box. If you watched one of our other videos, it spoiled it, but that is an air conditioner. So we have an air conditioner here for those hotter days. We can stay a little cooler. Nice little dinette area, and that'll convert for sleeping as well. And then there's that big window that allows you to look outside, and it looks nice and clear when you look through, but as I mentioned in the earlier part of the video, you can't see inside. Big side window on the A-frame part, we have a high, a high volume, large blade, ah, excuse me, large blade fan here to move air around. So a nice little unit with good living space. And at 1,460 pounds, fold this puppy up so that you're only, you know, up to around here in height, very little wind resistance for towing really maximize your fuel economy especially where fuel prices have gone these days and you can get out and have a lot of fun on a pretty decent budget now let's look at the bigger sister in case you said gee i really need some extra space this is a ranger 12. this is going to weigh in 1687 pounds 158 pounds of tongue weight and some very similar features. Big window in the front, nice deep tint, the high volume fan. We've got some storage here. We have the Zamp solar panel prep. 
There's our air conditioner box, so you'll stay nice and cool. Got a couple of power plugs on this side if you want to plug in some electric cooking utensils. Single axle with that aluminum rim. We've got some storage back here. A second big window, so this has got the two windows over the Ranger 10. Hot water heater, our fresh water tank, and a shower up front. But really, let's take a look inside because that's the beauty of these units. So this Ranger 10, here's our half door. And I'll give you a little demo so, you know, you could, that's in reverse, of course. I thought I'd give you guys a little laugh, but there's our half door, right? Leave the main door open and just open up the half door. Now, when you come in, similar to the Ranger 10, this Ranger 12, has a dinette area, a little bit bigger, no zippered area. We've got the big window, and yes, there's a screen right here for privacy. We've got our burners, a little bit nicer setup, two burner range, a little bit nicer with the hood, some storage underneath, our furnace on board, our sink. There's our sleeping area already converted for sleeping but that can be pushed back into a sitting area and there's our air conditioner now the amount of windows on this ranger 12 is really nice we've got lots of natural light in here and i'm gonna lay back to give you an idea of the height in this unit so there is a high volume air fan up there that we're pointing at and I hope you can get an idea of really the amount of height and space you have in here it's just really nice um, so great little idea if you want to stay minimalistic get out and camp I mean heck you could go cross-country with this unit because even underneath you could put a few bins under here and have that extra storage and they've given us some pretty deep storage spaces. You know, little pull-out bins for extra storage there. And then under here, ah, almost forgot. We've got our Norcold fridge. So, let's take a look. And there we've got some nice storage for food and you can pick that up and take it with you to the beach so a great little great little feature overall and weight wise absolutely a beautiful weight across the board you know 1687 pounds so 1687 pounds you get two burners you've got your cooler freezer to take with you, furnace on board, air conditioner, hot water tank. I mean, you're pretty, pretty well set up if you set yourself up with a little portable tent or privacy area, you could actually shower at the side of this trailer. Again, don't thrill your neighbors, but great little idea. So when we look at it, there's a Ranger 10, Ranger 12, slightly different looks very small very lightweight so if you're in the market take a look at an a-liner very impressed with these small units a special thank you goes out to bella vista rv for allowing us to use these trailers and be on site for filming take a look at their website at www.bellavistarv.com uh, they've got pricing on their website for these units as well. If you're interested or thinking about getting into the camping scene, this is a great way to get in. Very lightweight. You could store these at home without taking a lot of space, throw them in your garage and even over the winter so you're not having to pay for storage, etc. If you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe below, and hit the bell, we'll you'll be notified of new videos as they get posted. I wanna say a special thank you to you, our viewers. Um, please subscribe, it helps us get noticed on YouTube, and we are trying to push past 10,000 subscribers, and that will also give us access to more great products out there 
to bring them to you. Bruno from RVing TV saying thank you for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you back at the channel. Make sure you live life to the fullest and we'll see you out in the campground.